Hey guys, I'm back in my studio and I thought it would be fun to do a reaction video for my performance on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. This was done in April of 2013. That month, I had uploaded a video on my YouTube channel called Magic Kissing Card Trick and it went viral. That first week, it got like 10 million views and apparently one of those views was Jimmy Fallon. To be honest, I had no idea who Jimmy Fallon was. I went over to a friend's house and I was like, oh yeah, I just got an email from Jimmy Fallon and he wants me to do my card trick on his show. And she was like, what? You're gonna be on Jimmy Fallon? I was like, I don't know, who, who is the guy? Everything ended up working out and they flew me out to New York City. And when I showed up for the rehearsal, I was really nervous. So they just told me to walk through exactly how I thought I was going to say everything on the show. And it was a complete mess. And so I was like, this is going to be horrible. I'm gonna botch my first live TV performance ever. And so we went back to the green room and I was just waiting backstage for my time to go perform on the show. They called my name and then poof, this happened. Hey everybody, we are back with the man behind the Stuart Edge YouTube channel, which has blown me. up to almost 42 million views. My channel now is like over 250 million views. At the time, 42 million was so much for me. And that was between like seven or eight videos. So I thought it was the coolest thing ever. With one viral video after another, uh, right. today is going to- Nearly every video I uploaded like hit the trending page after I uploaded. It was just like boom, 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 boom. Today he's going to perform a magic trick that he does in the channel that I loved. I was just, I was on YouTube, I was like, that was so, I don't know, so cool. Anyways, so please welcome cool. in his first television appearance, Stuart Edge, everybody. That's me, that's right. Woo! I, wa I was so calm and collected at this point. In the rehearsal, I was nervous, but for some reason, as soon as like the cameras went and this music hit and the crowd cheer, this rush of excitement came over me. And I was just calm and collected, and I was like, yeah, this is gonna work. Uh, I watched this thing, I loved it. I think that was the first time I saw you, and then I went back and watched your other videos. He's seen uh, Do you know how to do magic tricks at all? Uh, apparently. Yeah. So, real quick, uh, Jimmy Fallon, the whole time, was reading off of a cue card. And so when I saw that he was reading a cue card, I thought, oh, that's why they had me go through my uh, set word for word in the rehearsal because they were going to write down everything that I should say. And then so when Jimmy Fallon turned to me and he's like, so do you do magic tricks? And I looked at what I should say and in parentheses it said respond. And so that's why I go, uh, 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 apparently. Uh, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> but you do other videos that are, that are even big, I mean, they're equally big. Yeah, so I started out doing these uh, kissing pranks. Like the first one I did was the mistletoe kissing prank where I dropped yep. a mistletoe in between people and see if Great they video. would kiss. Great video, viral. And then I upgraded from that and dropped Spider-Man in front of girls to see if they'd kiss Spider-Man upside down. <laughs> and then we went to <laughs> Oh, Jimmy. Yes. Maybe he really likes it, I don't know. Look at this face, he just thinks I'm the coolest thing. Jimmy Fallon has a crush on me, guys. And then we went to a college and held up Kiss Me, I'm Irish Shines around St. Patrick's Day, so. That was a big one, yeah. Yeah, that I don't was another big really one. Seen. So yeah. I just been doing these tricks and then I heard about this magic trick and I was like, well, I like magic, but I don't know how to incorporate magic and kissing. Yep. And then I came up with this idea too. Uh, and it's so, it's so fun, but uh, here's, here's the way it is. At this point, I was caught, because I got through my intro, and I was like, okay, whew. now, I know I'm just gonna have to like do the trick and I should be good. We have some volunteers from our audience here to help out. Uh, let's have the first volunteer come on out. Welcome. Karen from San Antonio. Very good. Now, what is your name and where are you from? Karen, San Antonio. Hey, welcome Karen, San Antonio. Welcome. Karen from San Antonio. She, man, this, I don't know her. I've never met her before out, outside of this, right? I would love to meet her again. She seems so cool. I'd love to like take her to lunch or something because she's a part of such an amazing part of my career. Same with Jimmy Fallon. I mean, let me take Jimmy Fallon to lunch, but we should start a hashtag called Help Stuart Find Karen. Figure out who she is, Karen from San Antonio. I want to message her, take her out to lunch or something just as a thank you for being a part of such an amazing part of my career. Hey, welcome, Karen. San Antonio, welcome. we love that. Say hello to Stuart Edge. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm Stuart. Uh, Stuart, so Stuart explain the, the trick that we're about to see, please. Okay, well, we'll just actually get started. I want you to hold the pen, and uh, you're going to sign the card. Don't worry, you can sign and ruin the card by... This part, I was calm. I was cool because okay, I had done this so many times. Okay, you signed the two of spades. It's Sharpie. It's not coming off, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that card, 
I'm gonna fold it up and put it in your mouth. Just oh bite gosh. down. It's a clean deck of cards, don't worry. I need everybody to watch that card, because if it leaves, I'm in trouble. Watch it, because if it leaves, then yes. we're in trouble. Okay, so I got you. You can watch me too, because you never take your eyes off a magician. All right, well, so so do, you might do, have just done something now. Well, I have no okay, idea. so that, this part was big for me, because they're like, we really want you to get Jimmy Fallon involved. And I was thinking, how am I gonna get Jimmy Fallon involved when like I'm doing a trick with a girl? And so, in this moment, I just like I'm gonna like joke with Jimmy that he has to watch me and watch the card because like he's got to look two places at once, and it ended up being perfect for the bit because it made Jimmy like go like this, and there was a bunch of funny moments in it, and so made me look pretty super cool and talented as well. You know what I'm saying? I may have. And that's what always happens to me. Gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna take my card and okay. I'm actually gonna give it a quick signature like this. Mm-hmm. It's Sharpie if you want to take the pen. It's not coming off. That card hasn't left, right? No. Are you sure? No, that card. Yeah, that card. Boom. Much okay. as well. They're like boom. That's another comedic, like magic trick. He's looking. He looks away. I'm doing all this stuff. This, I think, is one of my best performances I've ever done. I try and match this performance in my shows that I'm doing the comedy. I just can't. Like, I was just so good. I'm so humble right now. <laughs> I was good. I really was. This was a good performance. I can't do both at once, <laughs> Stuart. Yeah, he can't. Okay, so there's a power in kissing. I need you to put the card. Jim and Fallon is just like so intrigued. And I love that. He's just like, okay, listen. And this was cool. This is what you want as a performer. You just want like people engaged and watching you. I need you to put the card all the way in your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to put this card all the way in my mouth. A quick peck on the lips and the card should switch. You cheeky. And then Jimmy Fallon swears and so. Yeah, you can take it out. <laughs> so I, I knew what I knew what she was saying because that's what everyone would say anytime I do the trick. Can I take it out? So yeah, you can take it out. And so, but you cannot. She's like, I'm like yeah, you can take it out. <laughs> Again, it just made the moment so good. Another thing too, I just like go immediately to show the camera. I'm just like, yeah, there you go. Like so cool. And I'm just like, yeah, what's up? How do you understand her? <laughs> That's you, I touched it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Hi, See, I mean, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. You that? <laughs> There's a power in kissing. That is <laughs> really awesome. This performance, as I watch it again, I realized that my not knowing a lot of magic actually was um, the best thing that could have happened to me at this point. I wasn't about like making it bigger than it needed to be, which sometimes magicians can do that, is they make the the trick so much bigger than, and they, it's like, oh, there's all this magic power. But I was just like, here's the trick. I sign it, you put it in my mouth, we kiss, boom, it's done. As I've gotten better at magic, I feel like the quality of my performance has actually like gone down a little bit um, because I know so much. Uh, so I gotta get back to this, the simplicity of just like being a few steps ahead of people and just going through really quickly. I love that. All right, we want to come back boom. here. Uh, now Such uh, a we fun actually moment. have a couple from the audience uh, that are gonna volunteer. Come on yes. over. Okay. Uh, oh. the pen. Number one rule as a magician is you never do the same trick twice. I only knew one trick, and so then I go into this performance with this couple. Um, I'm not gonna react to this, because it's pretty much the same. Um, I just do the trick again, and their card Very switch. Right That's Boom, oh happened again. Dude, I love it, it's so awesome, I appreciate Thank that so much. Jimmy Fallon. YouTube.com slash Stuart Ed for great viral videos. Boom! Jimmy Fallon gave me the best shout out I've ever had in my life. So fun to be a part of it. Again, this video, it's cool because like I did not grow up with any sort of option in my mind of ever having this be a possibility. And so you really can pursue and follow your dreams. I would love to host my own late night show someday. And this video, this performance really gave me that inspiration. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Also, let's do that hashtag. Live life on the edge. It's a good place to be. We'll see you tomorrow. We got the grand prize. Uh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs>